جميع معاني الكلمات متوفرة على شكل ملف بي دي اف على موقعنا ميريوسي.com وايضا للتقديم الامتحان الجنسي الامريكية اذهب الى موقع ميريوسي.com Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am not a citizen. What does claimed mean? To pretend to be a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am not a citizen. What does registered mean? To sign up. What does vote mean? To elect. What does election mean? To vote. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does owe mean? To be indebted. What does overdue mean? Not paid yet. What does taxes mean? Money paid to the government. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non-resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a green card holder. What does lawful permanent resident mean? A green card holder. What does non-resident alien mean? Not a green card holder. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No. Can you tell me why? Because they are bad people. What does member mean? Part of. What does Communist Party mean? Like China. What does Totalitarian Party mean? Like Hitler. Have you ever advocated, supported, and promoted any of the following? Or been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the following. Opposition to all organized government. World communism. No. The establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship. No. The overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law. No. The unlawful assaulting or killing of any officer or officers of the government of the United States or of any other organized government because of their official character? No. The unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property or sabotage? No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does advocated mean? To support. What does associated mean? Related to. What does opposition mean? Resistance. What does dictatorship mean? Absolute power. What does overthrow mean? To remove a government. What does force or violence mean? To abuse someone. What does unconstitutional mean? 
against the Constitution. What does unlawful mean? Not legal. What does assaulting mean? Attacking someone. What does official character mean? Formal person. What does damage, injury, destruction, or sabotage mean? To cause a harm. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that used a weapon or explosive with intent to harm another person or cause a damage to property? No. What does assistance or support mean? To help someone. What does weapon mean? Like a gun or a knife. What does harm mean? To cause damage. Engaged, participated in kidnapping, assassination, or hijacking, or sabotage of an airplane, ship, vehicle, or other mode of transportation. No. What does kidnapping mean? Take someone by force. What does assassination mean? Kill an important person. What does hijacking mean? Like aircraft takeover. Threatened, attempted, tried, conspired, planned with others prepared, planned, advocated for, or incited, encouraged others to commit any of the acts listed in item number 6A or 6B. No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does threatened mean? Caused fear to someone. What does commit mean? did something bad have you ever ordered incited called for committed assisted helped with or otherwise participated in any of the following 7a torture no 7b genocide no 7c killing or trying to kill any person no 7d intentionally and severely injuring or trying to injure any person no what does torture mean to cause pain to someone what does genocide mean to kill many people at the same time what does killing or kill mean to cause death. To cause death. What does injuring or injure mean? To hurt someone. 7e. Any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent, did not agree, or was unable to consent, could not agree, or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else no what does sexual contact mean to have sex with someone to have sex with someone what does forced mean make someone do something 7f not letting someone practice their religion no 7g causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. 
What does practice mean? Perform. What does religion mean? Faith. Faith. What does suffering mean? Pain. Pain. 8a. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, helped, or participated in any military or police unit? What does served mean? Worked or helped? What does military unit or police unit mean? An armed force. An armed force. 8b. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, helped, or participated in any armed group, a group that carries weapons? For example, paramilitary unit, a group of people who act like a military group but are not part of the official military, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group. No. Can you tell me why? Because I have never been in the military or anything like that. What does self-defense unit mean? Security squad. Security squad. What does vigilante unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group mean? A group of bad people. Have you ever worked, volunteered, or otherwise served in a place where people were detained, forced to stay? For example, a prison, jail, prison camp, a camp where prisoners of war or political prisoners are kept, detention facility, or labor camp. Or have you ever directed or participated in any other activity that involved detaining people? No. What does prison or jail mean? A place for bad people. What does detention facility mean? A place where people are forced to stay. What does labor camp mean? A place where people are forced to work. What does detaining people mean? Arresting them. 10a. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Can you tell me why? I have never used a gun. What does group, unit, or organization mean? A group of people that have the same goal. 10b. If you answered yes to the item number 10a, when you were part of this group or when you helped this group, did you ever use a weapon against another person? 10c. If you answered yes to the item number 10a, when you were part of this group or when you helped this group, did you ever threaten another person that you would use a weapon against that person? Have you ever sold, provided, or transported weapons, or assisted any person in selling, providing, or transporting weapons which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does sold selling mean? To get money for something. What does provided providing mean? To give something. What does transported transporting mean? To move something. What does assisted mean? Helped. What does against mean versus? 
Have you ever received any weapons training, paramilitary training, or other military type training? No. Can you tell me why? Because I have never been in the military or anything like that. What does received mean? To get something. What does training mean? To practice. Have you ever recruited, asked, enlisted, signed up, conscripted, required to join, or used any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed group or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does armed group mean? Group with weapons. What does attempted mean? Tried. Have you ever used any person under 15 years of age to take part in hostilities or attempted or worked with others to do so? This could include participating in combat or providing services related to combat, such as serving as a messenger or transporting supplies. No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does hostilities mean? Conflict. What does combat mean? A fight. Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, or tried to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does crime or offense mean? Like kill or steal? What does arrested mean? Caught by police. Have you ever been arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official in the U.S. or elsewhere, or immigration official for any reason or been charged with a crime or offense? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does cited mean? Like a speed ticket. What does detained mean? What does confined mean? To keep someone legally. What does charged mean? Accused. If you received a suspended sentence, were placed on probation, or were paroled, have you completed your suspended sentence, probation, or parole? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does suspended sentence mean? A delay to judge. What does probation mean? Supervised release. Supervised release. What does paroled mean? Conditional release. Conditional release. Have you ever? 17a. Engaged in a prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes or persons for the purpose of prostitution or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No. What does engaged mean? Involved with. Involved with. 
What does prostitution mean? Sex for money. What does procure import mean? To bring someone for sex. 17b. Manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed, dispensed, sold or smuggled, trafficked, any controlled substances, illegal drugs, narcotics, or drug paraphernalia, in violation of any law or regulation of a U.S. state, the United States, or a foreign country. No. What does manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed mean? Create something to sell or give out. What does dispensed, sold, smuggled mean? To sell or give out something. What does controlled substances mean? What does illegal drugs mean? What does narcotics mean? What does drug paraphernalia mean? A drug to change the mood. A drug to change the mood. 17c. Been married to more than one person at the same time. No. What does married mean? To have a partner. 17d. Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What does immigration benefit mean? Like a green card or visa. 17e. Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally. No. What does helped mean? To assist. To assist. What does enter mean? To get in. What does illegally mean? Not legal. 17F. Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling. No. What does gambled illegally mean? What does illegal gambling mean? mean games for money games for money 17 g failed to support your dependents pay child support or to pay alimony court ordered financial support after divorce or separation no what does failed mean did not succeed what does dependence mean? Someone relies on another. Someone relies on another. 17H. Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefits in the United States? No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does misrepresentation mean? Wrong info. Wrong info. What does obtain mean? To get something. To get something. What does public benefit mean? Like food stamps. Like food stamps. 18. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does false, fraudulent, or misleading mean? Wrong info. Wrong info. 19. Have you ever lied 
to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Can you tell me why? Because it is not legal. What does lied mean? False statement. False statement. What does U.S. government officials mean? Like immigration officers. What does admission mean? Acceptance. Acceptance. 20. Have you ever been placed in removal, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does removal mean? What does rescission mean? What does deportation mean? Sending someone away. Sending someone away. 21. Have you ever been removed or deported from the United States? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does removed or deported mean? Sending someone away. 22a. Are you a person born as a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Do not select yes if you were a lawful non-immigrant for all of that time period. What does male mean? A man. 22b. If you answered yes to item number 22a, did you register for the selective service? What does selective service mean? Conscription. Conscription. 22c. If you answered yes to item number 22b, provide information about your registration. Date registered, month, day, year, selective service number. Twenty-three. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you tell me why? Because I am a good resident. What does avoid mean? To stay away. What does drafted mean? To become a soldier. 24. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. What does applied mean? To request. What does exemption mean? Free from obligation. 25. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. 26A. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you tell me why? Because I have never been in the military or anything like that. 26B. If you answered yes to the item number 26A, are you scheduled to deploy outside of the United States, and including to a vessel, within the next three months? What does deploy mean? To spread out. 26C. If you answered yes to item number 26A, are you currently stationed outside of the United States? What does stationed mean? Stay in a place. 26D. 
If you answered no to item number 26A, are you a former U.S. military service member who is currently residing outside of the U.S.? What does former mean? Previous. What does currently mean? It means now. What does residing mean? Lives at. 27. Have you ever been court-martialed or have you received a discharge characterized as other than honorable bad conduct or dishonorable while in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you tell me why? Because I have never been in the military or anything like that. What does court-martialed mean? Military court. What does discharge mean? Tell someone to leave. What does honorable mean? Respectable. What does bad conduct mean? Misconduct. Misconduct. What does dishonorable mean? Not respectable. 28. Have you ever been discharged from a training or service in the U.S. Armed Forces because you were an alien? No. Can you tell me why? Because I have never been in the military or anything like that. 29. Have you ever deserted from the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Can you tell me why? Because I have never been in the military or anything like that. What does deserted mean? To run away from something. 30A. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What does hereditary title mean? What does an order of nobility mean? Like to be king or prince. What does foreign country mean? Any country but the U.S. 30B. If you answered yes to item number 30A, are you willing to give up any inherited titles or orders of nobility? List titles that you have in a foreign country at your naturalization ceremony. If you answered no to any question except item number 33, see the Oath of Allegiance section of the instructions for more information. 31. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. What does Constitution mean? The supreme law of the land. What is the form of government of the United States? Republic. 32. Do you understand the full of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What does full oath of allegiance mean? To be loyal to the United States. What does oath mean? A promise to tell the truth. 33. Are you unable to take the oath of allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. What does unable mean? Can't do something. What does disability mean? Weakness. What does mental impairment mean? Like to be sick in the mind. 34. 
Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What does willing mean? To be ready. 35. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms, carry weapons on behalf of the United States? Yes. What does on behalf mean? Instead of. 36. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non combatant services, do something that does not include fighting in a war, in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. What does perform mean? To do something. 37. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Do non-military work that the U.S. government says is important to the country? Yes. What does if the law requires it mean? If the law wants to. تم إضافة خدمتين جديدتين لموقع AmirUSA.com وهي خدمة محامي الهجرة والتجنس وشركة القروض والعقارات مثلا نختار خدمة الهجرة والتجنس بعدها نضغط على تابع بعدها نكتب الاسم كامل ثم نضغط على كلمة السؤال التالي نكتب رقم الهاتف هنا السؤال التالي الإيميل كامل بعدها نضغط على السؤال التالي ونختار الخدمة التي نريد مثلا التقديم على الجنسية الأمريكية N400 أو التقديم على الجنسية الأمريكية للأطفال N600 مثلا أنا راح أختار التقديم على فيزا سياحة ويمكنك شرح حالتك هنا أو تركها فارغة وأيضا يمكنك تحميل ملف إذا حبيت نشوف الملفات يلي بدك نراجعها بعدها تضغط تابع هنا مصداقيتنا تضمن لك استرداد أموالك من المحامي مباشرة في حال لم تكن راضيا عن خدماتنا بعدها تضغط على تابع قانونيا حتى تسمح لنا والفريق انه يتواصل معاك لازم تضغط على نعم بعدها تضغط هنا لارسال معلوماتك للمحامي وايضا يمكنك تحميل ملف البي دي اف للاطلاع على معلوماتك التي ارسلتها شكرا لكم